He's not here yet. He said nine. You're a minute early. Yeah. What the devil he wants to start at the crack of dawn? God only knows. I have a feeling that's only the beginning. Good morning, sir. Hmm? Good morning. Mears. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. I'll be with you in a minute. Callan, sir. He used to be our senior man, sir. Used to be? Well, he's not really in the department now, sir. Then what's he doing here? I thought you might like to have a look at him, sir. Look at him? What for? The Colonel thought he was very good, sir. Did he indeed? Fowler. Washington, sir. Two years, CIA liaison. Oh, I've got a lot of friends over there. I must go and see him. One of the perks of the job, sir. Truman. Trainee, sir. Uh, if Callan's so good, why did he leave? Difference of opinion, sir. With my predecessor? Yes, sir. Not much of a recommendation. What's his background? Uh, it's all in the file, sir. What I get out of the file is that he's emotionally unstable, a one-time crook, he has a dubious circle of acquaintances, and he uh, tends to take the law into his own hands. He's very independent, yes, sir. We don't want heroes in the section. This is a team. Yes, sir, but... But what? Do you like him? I detest him. But he knows the job. The only thing is, say, he likes to know why it has to be done. That's my concern. Yes, of course, sir. What's he doing now? Do you know? Do you know? Not certain, sir. Which means you're in touch. <laughs> well, he comes in from time to time for shooting practice, sir. He what? In the gallery, sir. You mean he's allowed to walk in and out just like that? He never officially left the department, sir. You know as well as I do, Mears, that no one is ever officially in the department. No, sir. If Callan comes in at all today, I want to see him straight away. He's already here, sir. Get in for me, will you? I don't quite know how this department's been running, but it seems to me as though it was altogether too free and easy. I wouldn't say that, sir. Did you ask him to come in? Yes, sir. I thought it might be useful if he was on hand, sir. Did you indeed? Well, those are the sort of decisions I make, aren't they? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes? Come on, Charlie. I haven't got all day. He's a bit impetuous, sir. When uh, Callan's gone, I want to talk to you about this Boonin affair. Yes, sir. It's tomorrow, isn't it, sir? Yes. Send Callan in. Yes, sir. Hello, Charlie boy moved office, has he? Well, you're a right bastard, you are, aren't you? You could have warned me. Well, that would have been nearly as much fun. Besides, knowing your gift for diplomacy, I thought I'd let you handle it in your own charming, characteristic way. What happened to Fatty? The Colonel. No. Now, where the hell they dig him up from? Foreign office. He was a Balkan specialist during the war. I don't know since. Are you rejoining our little club? I'm coming with you tomorrow to meet Boonin. Oh, how nice. That man's a nutcase. Listen, there's a new hunter, right? So Boonin's come over here to find out who he is and get him. I know that. Sir says he's defecting. <laughs> Sir doesn't know Boonin. Announcing the arrival of Aeroflot Russian Airlines Flight SU042 from Moscow. Aeroflot regrets the slight delay owing to weather conditions at Moscow Airport. Passengers to Budapest. This is the final call for Tapso Bulgarian Airlines Flight Center SZ. I still think the Foreign Office is wrong, sir. I mean, Boone has been to the KGB for 17 years. He's not a defector. That's what we're here to find out. Well, I'd keep well out of the way if I were you. Why, Callum? I don't see any point in shooting if it can be avoided. Don't you? No, sir. If you get shot, the best that can happen to you is you get hurt. What a comfort you are. I'll be in there. Yes, sir. Arrival area on the first floor. The driver meeting Mr. and Mrs. Shelley. 
Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Is this all your luggage? Yes. Are you acquainted with this notice? Oh, yes. What have you got in the bag? Oh, clothes, papers, nothing unusual. I'm here on a trade mission. Open the case, please. Sorry, sir. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to come with me. This way, please. Thank you. I have been waiting to meet you, Mr. Hunter. It's clear, sir. All right. On the stretcher. Good. Now, I'm sorry to put you to this indignity, Boonin, but we must move fast. You're very thorough. We're also in rather a hurry. Of course. All right. Right. Lie down, please. Come on, move in. Quickly. Let's go move on. Come on. Thank you, sir. now. A drink. Vodka, Boonin? Uh, I'd rather have whiskey, Mr. Hunter. You mind me? Now, Boonin, I think we should talk. It may interest you to know that Callan here is not too sure of you. Well, he wants our daughters to kill me. I don't blame him. Yes, I heard about that. I think we were rather too smart for each other. Callan killed a colleague of mine. I killed one of his. Bob Purdy was a friend. Well, that's the saddest part of our sad trade, is it not? To see your friends die. Sir? Uh, oh, thank you. Now, Boonin, you know the procedure, of course. I shall have to hand you over to the Foreign Office sooner or later. That is, if you still want asylum. Oh, yes. Just as well. There's no going back, you mean? It would help if you could give me the outline of any information you may have. Not details, just something to give to the Ministry. Well, uh, what about... I'd rather they stayed. You don't trust me? That's right. Well, why should you? Well, perhaps I should first put my cards on the table. Please. That's an English expression, I believe. It is. You're doing very well. Good, thank you. Well, now, here's another one. Gentlemen, I am a fake. A fraud. A phony. The person who should be here is Comrade Mirsky. He wanted to defect long ago. It's his influence that's got me here, so you see, I'm a bit of a cheat. Mirsky. He's the assistant of the Minister of Defense. Last year I had to investigate him. He'd been drinking a great deal and getting involved with a number of women. Eventually I reported that he was simply overtired. In fact, he wanted to get out. Mirsky does. Does it surprise you? Nothing surprises us, Boonin. Before Mirsky, I was quite content. He changed my mind for me. That's why I'm here. Does he still want to get out? Yes, but he's in a very difficult position. He's not left the country for almost 20 years. Any request by him to do so under whatever pretext will meet with grave suspicion. But you want to arrange something? If I can. Get in like a holiday camp. Apart from the ideological victory, Mirsky has a great deal of valuable information to bring with him. I bet he has. For money? Naturally. All right, Boonin. What's the plot? Well, it involves some risk. Mirsky will come out. But only if he can defect to your top man in Russia. Our top man? Yes. I see. <coughs> I trust you do. It means that if he goes to your top man, you'll have to bring them both out. It's the only way you can, he can be sure you'll help him. It's a very high price. I'd have thought it was worth it. Mirsky's a very important man. Yes, uh, I shall have to think about this one. Of course. 
Would you be affected by a decision either way? How could they be? You know I can't go back now. No. Well, now, I must get back to London. Yes? I shall leave Callan here with you. I'm sorry, Boonin, but uh, until we've cleared you, I shall have to place you under, shall we say, house arrest. It's very pleasant here. You should be quite comfortable. Oh, thank you. We can talk about old times. What do you think of those two mirrors? Will they be all right? They are two of a kind, sir. My, 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 we are nervous, aren't we? Yeah. Boonin? Boonin? What's the matter? Did he keep you awake or not? He's a liar. Is he one of yours? Truman? I've told him to make you his model, Captain. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, what about the KGB, then? Do you think they'll get to Boonin? Yeah, well, if he's telling the truth, he hasn't got a prayer. And if not? Well, that's up to us, isn't it? Keep your thumb down, son, all right? He wants me to pick up Lonely now. Oh, where the hell did he come from? Mr. Hunter, I told you. He's a civil servant. Yeah. How many routes are there to the country? Three, sir. I want them all covered thoroughly. Boonin's been gone four hours now. Was Truman on? Yes, sir. Not a very good start, is it? They have an uncanny sense of timing, these Russians. Well, it is a bit rough, sir, in your first few days. We got Don Charles' address through that friend of Callan's. What do you know about him? Small-time crook, sir. Burglary, that sort of thing. He's been inside a couple of times. It's also rather fragrant, sir. I'd have thought Callan was too meticulous for such a colleague. They seem to understand each other, sir. Very well. About two miles from the house, sir. Truman's own gun, I suppose. Yes, sir. There was also a hypodermic on the floor of the car, sir. I presume Goncharov must have passed it to Boonin at the press conference, sir. Callan was right, then. He knows Boonin, sir, inside out. Me and our Russian agent at one brief swoop. Ambitious, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Fortunately, we're never left alone with him, sir. Callan here, sir. Yes? Got Goncharov. Should I bring him in? Take him to the gallery. See what you can get out of it. Oh, yes, sir. Boonin's gone. Bit of guest. I must say, Hunter's taking it very calmly. Yeah, he needs to, mate. And Truman's dead. No! <laughs> What's the plan in that? Mears? I've been on the special branch. They'll take care of Goncharov. Bring him upstairs. They'll be along in a minute. Right, sir. Goncharov said nothing, I suppose. Nothing, sir. Get me Callum. Come on, you. On your feet. Move! Come on!
All right. Sir? You can take the car away, but stay on call. Ask for trouble, we never actually walk right into it. You mind? Right, sir. Well, I'm going to have a scotch. I won't, sir, thank you. I could do with a coffee myself. So there isn't a three-handed game of chess. Oh, blimey, not another one. Thank you. Don't you drink, Callum? One of us has got to stay awake, sir. Oh, great. Don't do that, sir, please. It's, uh, it's asking for trouble. I've told you all the two best men I've got. I have every confidence. Boonin's alone, gentlemen. Even if he gets one of you. One of you will deal with him before he can get on to me. I'm quite safe. It's the only way, Callan. We must draw him. It's a gesture to the KGB, if you like. We must play the game their way, but to win. Yeah, well, I wouldn't call it a game. If you lose, you're dead. Where is he? What? I hope we haven't wasted the oh. night. Look, don't do that again, Shana, please. Uh, victim of uh, advertising. Uh, I like it. Tell the driver I'll be ready to leave in half an hour and get on to the office in the years. Tell him I'll be in by 10.30. Yes, sir. Do you uh, want to talk to Special Branch, sir? We'll leave it till we get back. Half past eight. I think I'll go for a bath. Uh, don't bother to come, Callan. I can scrub my own back, thank you. Hello? Sorry to have kept you up all night. As you said, Callan, Boonin's not to be trusted. He's not even predictable. Cars are right, sir. Good. Uh, I'm leaving you here for 24 hours, Callan, just in case. Excuse me, sir. Better drive me as.
Callum. Get back as soon as you can after you've cleared up. Oh, and Callum, thank you. 